न्यूज फर्स्ट फेस टू फेस विद जयमाल रत्नायकर Good evening and welcome to tonight's edition of Face to Face coming to you from our News First studios here in Colombo I'm Jaimal Ratnaiker for the News First team and as always today we have a very interesting guest in our studios he is a community leader he is someone has been very vociferous about the rights and also the upliftment and the development of tamil communities in sri lanka although he represents the western province and the colombo district he is a member of parliament and also has been very outspoken about the entire tamil fraternity in sri lanka my guest tonight is member of parliament mano ganeshan who is also the leader of the tamil progressive alliance and a part of the samagi chanabala week as well a very good evening to you mr good evening jamal hi how are you doing good and how are you fine really so <laughs> <laughs> so mr ganeshan to get things rolling i want to ask you about sri lanka's uh, law and order side of things because yeah. we have been seeing very concerning and disturbing reports yeah. of mistaken identities of uh, misfirings by the police the very people who are supposed to defend the general public are engaging in these sort of very mistaken acts and these sort of very ignorant acts if yes. i may put it that yes. way and we know that there's a yukti operation going yeah. on as well so again such a backdrop something like this coming into the spotlight is uh, uh, not a very good omen for yes. the sri lanka very police don't you think my good friend tiranales mm. because uh, <laughs> because uh, i don't think police will intentionally kill somebody yes. but this mistake and that is just wrong no yes. obviously this one thing i think the, today morning the bad news from south yes from beliath uh, beliath mm. this is one of, one of the party leader yes obviously ape janabala pakshe yeah, leader ape janabala pakshe mm. ape janabala pakshe i mean leader was when it was killed mm. because janabala pak janabala pakshe janabala is uh, uh, the, the the name the identifies with other parties also no yes. janabala begi and some mm. janabala begi also so we got upset about it so it's yes. synonyms yes. and yesterday mistaken identity of the um underworld um, elements yes so some some came the body can yes. fire at somebody mm. too bad i think uh, Uh, my good friend Tiran Ala should take care. Uh, I I believe so. I mm. hope so because law and order is very essential. Mm. Without law and order, you can't build a country. Right. Whether it's Pranil Vikram Singh or Haji Premadas or another one, Zana Kavu, I believe so. Right. So, where do you see this going now? When Operation Yuktiya was launched, there was much pomp and. speech about it there was a lot of uh, there's a lot of ruckus about it that it was going to come down hard on organized crime and narcotics and so on and the minister and also the acting igp were very hands on in all of the operations but while that is still ongoing we are seeing motorcycle gunmen going and shooting people down in broad daylight we are seeing motorcycle gunmen going and shooting people down in very public areas without any sort of second guessing so is there really law and order in this country at present it mr looks, it looks negative because uh, we have our reservations on the acting igp mm. obviously we have made it clear in the parliament and elsewhere yes but let apart let apart now i need uh, Uh, i don't want to bring i don't want to just uh, totally accuse uh, tiranales my good friend minister and the igp also mm. if they're doing yukti go ahead do mm. put more forces right. and, and clean up because this uh, uh, underworld and the uh, drug uh, mafia had been tolerated in this country for a long time quite long time it's too bad because mm. it has reached the schools mm. in my district colombo schools it has reached right. schools international yes. schools and uh, national government schools and the private schools it's yes. gone into schools mm. children so it we can't tolerate we can't mm. tolerate the mm. parents are very much worried so therefore it has to uh, they have to act because now we can't keep complaining and tell them not to act and not not to do not do this not to do not to do that mm. now let them do that let us see mm. now they just started i mean it's one more one 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 and a half months gone yes, let us give some some more months mm. let's see how it's going to happen how it pans sometimes out. this this uh, this this motorcycle and uh, gunmen coming out and shooting at uh, each other or the innocent people mm. also maybe outcome of that mm. because when when you hit at uh, um, 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 cell then the then then the, the people who are hiding in the cell will come out yes be, be so so let us give the uh, benefit, benefit of, of the doubt, the doubt. obviously right. so, so i will i believe tiranala should be hearing me mm. listen to me he said i'm giving the benefit of the doubt right so he gives us he gives the minister of public security the benefit of the doubt but let's talk about some of the legislation that has been coming into parliament and uh, making its way into the chambers we saw a couple of weeks ago how uh, minister vijaydas rajapaksa presented the new and improved version of the tpa 
the prevention of the PTA, the Prevention of Terrorism Act. We are also hearing that the online safety bill is going to be presented to Parliament in the coming days. So, in your opinion, do you believe that all of these laws and all of these regulations that are yet to pass but are being brought forward by the government no, are regressive the, or progressive? What is the immediate urgency? Hmm. This, this, this laws, laws. I don't know why uh, the government of uh, Ranil Vikram Singh, hmm. our former Prime Minister, current President, uh, why, 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 why this urgency? And I your long-standing friend. Obviously, obviously. I have hmm. been with him for the last 20 years. Hmm. All of us, I mean, not only me, even Sajid Pemidas, our official leader, hmm. our alliance leader today, hmm. all, all were with him because we know him better than Oh, those in the port tour. Right. <laughs> yes. So, uh, I, 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 we, we fail to understand why Mr. Vikram Singh uh, regime or government, headed by him, this head of the state, mm. head of the government, mm. is uh, so, 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 what, what is the urgency of these, these? Was there those? any sort of consultation? It is, yes, before. consultation is happening. Even mm. tomorrow also, we will be, uh, we, we, we will be, our opposition will be convening morning we will discuss and mm. also we will be hope to meet uh, the president uh, speaker tomorrow morning right. early morning right. uh, cha, uh, delegation will be chaired by Sajid Premadas right. uh, we, we, we are doing it mm. so uh, we will not uh, back wait down. back down we will uh, speak and we will oppose mm. what is there to oppose right. because now uh, right now due to the IMF conditions IMF uh, terms and conditions uh, the we have the pe people are facing lot of difficulties obviously that's that's one thing that we'll discuss later right. but then due to that sometimes the the mm. people may come out come onto the streets mm. or the uh, trade unions may come onto the street they will make uh, their frustrations the, uh, known. frustration uh, known mm. so uh, is is the government preparing to uh, put down people or uh, oppress people mm. uh, oppress the, the opposition mm. I don't know because that is I I, I advise the people uh, I advise the government president not to do that, instead of doing that, come out and talk to the people, mm. explain the people, tell them, have consultation with the people. Mm. You, you are having consultation in the parliament, obviously, mm. we are doing it, but you come and talk to the people directly, tell them situation yes. and get, get uh, proposals from them. Mm. Other thing is, the government is, though Ranil Vikram Singh is the head of the government, right. but government is a Porto government, no? Yes. So that Porto is, uh, people hate, hate Porto, mm. obviously, we saw this, right. we saw in the country, mm. they voted, voted down the voted down a Porto president, right. chased him away, okay. so we need a change, unless until there is a change, mm. um, uh, no national international confidence will be there. Uh, towards the government. Towards Sri Lanka. So, you spoke about oppression and you spoke about change. Let's focus first on oppression and racial harmony also. The Tamil community in Sri Lanka has faced a lot of oppression. They have faced a lot of injustice and there have been inst instances where there have been a selective application of the law, especially aimed towards communities like the Tamils or the Muslims and so on. And you represent that community. You're a champion of that, of their voice. So what sort of steps have you been taking to ensure that Sri Lanka is a more inclusive, inclusive country with equal justice for all of its citizens? Jamal, I'm... Um Representing the oppressed, mm. whether it's Tamils or Sinhalese or Muslims or Buddhists or Hindus or Christians or people who follow the path of Islam, I represent Sri Lankan people and the, especially, particularly the oppressed within, yes. within the Sri Lankan community. Mm. Now, Tamils in this country, whether it's Northern East or Up Country, yes. Hill Country or Northern East, we are very much uh, ready to come into the uh, Sri Lankan nationalist uh, radius. That right. is what we want. Right. We, 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 have, we, have to, we have to enhance, enhance mm. the Sri Lankanism in this country. Mm. There we have failed. You know why? Now, I, I, we, you see, I, 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 instead of uh, before answering your mm. question mm. directly, I, 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 I tell you something else. Okay. Now, you know, this, there is a dream in this country mm. always to make uh, Sri Lanka Singapore, isn't it? Yes. Obviously. In fact, in fact the irony is, in 60s, mm. the Singapore um, uh, uh, founder, yes. Lee Kuan Yew, my, my great, uh, um, I, I, I admire him idol. My, mm. I, I, I yeah. And then he, he, he said, we wanted to become Ceylon. He modeled Singapore Sri after Sri Lanka. Ceylon, mm. Ceylon. That was, then Ceylon. time to Ceylon. But now they are bypassed in the highway and gone away. <laughs> okay. Mm. Now we wanted to become Sri Lanka, mm. sorry, Singapore. Yes. That, in that, 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 that slogan came up during the, uh, when J.R. Javadhan took up the presidency. Okay, 1978. So, those, even, even now people talk about Singapore as a mm. model country, but those people who speak about Singapore as a model fail to understand how Lee found established uh, Singapore. Mm. Because 
Sing you see Singapore is similar to Sri Lanka. Right. So somewhat way. The see the see the 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 the, the, the blend of ethnicity. Blend of population population. Right. Okay. Seventy six percent of the people are Chinese. Right. About eight percent are Tamils. Okay. Rest are Malays. Right. So but Lee did not establish a Chinese country. Okay. Got it. In a separate Chinese country, mm. yesterday Singapore, mm. he didn't uh, announce or, uh, or, or bought law saying that Chinese China Chinese language Mandarin yes. is the uh, official language, mm. only official language, yes. like Singhala only. Yes, ma ma Mandarin only. That was language not announced. Not so in Singapore, from then onwards, Chinese, um, uh, Malay, and Tamil, all three official languages. It's inclusive. Inclusive, inclusive. So they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, That's how we, we mm. established Singapore. That's what it is a model country today. But what but, but, but we did, we just we, we, we wanted to become Singapore, but we, we bought Singla only, hmm. and then Buddhism, Buddhism only. Hmm. What is this? Now, this country is necessarily a yeah, multi ethnic, multi religious, hmm. multi linguistic country. The diversity should be celebrated. Singapore, they are celebrated multi diversity. Yeah, diversity, they get scared of diversity. Now, see, I speak, you have seen me yes. in the channels, I speak Singla. Singhala is a very beautiful language, mm. very beautiful language. I love speaking Singhala. People, be able to say, my Singhala friends love me speaking Singhala. Mm. They love my Singhala. The pronunciation is, they, uh, they, they, they say it's very attractive, yes. obviously. Because now, numerically, the Singhalese are the numerical majority. Yes. The Buddhists are the numerical majority. Yes. It is not going to change. Mm. Nobody can change. Even if somebody tries to change it, I will be the first person to come on the street and fight against it. Because I love Singhala and Buddhism. Yes. yes. Obviously. So, but 75 is not 100, Jamal. There is another Even, segment. Let us, let us say it is 99. Mm. It is not 100. You need another one. So, seven, Singapore, 76, 24 is non Chinese. Mm. So, put together 100. So, Singapore is a great country. So, that's it. There we have failed. Mm. So, at least now, let us learn from our past mistakes. Move forward. Now, now what I say, now, now the, after the Aragalaya, mm. after the Aragalaya, anti corruption, the, the, the youngsters yes. like you all. I'm also young and man, isn't including it? you yeah. to a certain extent, yes, yes, for sure. <laughs> so, 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 young youngsters, young men and women, mm. Sri Lankans, who are, who, who, who are very much against corruption, they cannot tolerate the corruption, any, any any corruption. So, so, so the whole country is against corruption. Mm. But I, I just want to add something else. Not only corruption, the communalism also. The what I say is defeating corruption and communalism. If these are taken care with equal footing, with zero tolerance, all other factors will fall in line. This is my tweet I made last, last right. week. So, I am reading from my tweet. Mm. So, so all, all other factors will fall in line. If you take uh, communalism mm. and uh, defeating communalism mm. and corruption together, mm. and then, then, then it all, all, all other things will fall in line. So, but both in equal footing mm. with zero tolerance. Zero tolerance against communalism. Zero tolerance against um, uh, corruption. Mm. So, over the years, talking about communalism and creating rifts between ethnicities, uh, Mr. Ganeshan, we've seen certain political parties, when it comes towards uh, election seasons, they have used this, they have used the popular vote to try and create rifts between certain ethnicities, the Sinhalese and the Tamils or the Sinhalese and the Muslims and so on. And we are coming towards a very interesting uh, stage in Sri Lanka's political trajectory later this year when there's a presidential election and hopefully another general election as well. So, there is no assurance to say that certain political parties or players will not go down this route once more to try and divide and <laughs> conquer. But what is the SJB's answer towards it? I want to get a, a more a flavor of the SJB's uh, opinion of it. How will you steer clear from all these racial and uh, ethnic tensions to ensure that yeah, there is SJB more inclusive society? SJB is headed by Sajid Prabhadasa. Mm. He is a comparatively young Leader. Right. How are you lobbying for it? Yeah, obviously. Mm. Obviously, I'll, I'll, I'll be talking yes. to him. We are yes. talking to him. I'm yes. a party leader okay. within the alliance. Mm. So, talking to him. So, he's, he, he appears to me mm. as the best leader mm. who in the, in, the, in, the issue, in, the, in the issue of national integration. Right. And he thinks, he, he considers Sri Lanka as a uh, multi ethnic, multi linguistic, multi religious country. And diversity mm. is uh, a thing to celebrate, mm. not, not, to, not to think to worry about it. Mm. Um, inclusive policy, not exclusive. Right. I mean, this this country cannot mm. be mm. anymore mm. a Singhala Buddhist only country. Right. Singhala Buddhist should be there. Yes. Be sing, with Singhala, there's Tamil and yes. Muslim. Yes. And Buddhist with Buddhism, there's Hinduism in Islam and um, Christianity. Yes. So this is what this is what we should look at. That, that is what you call diversity. Mm. Diversity should be celebrated. Yes. So, I think, um, to my knowledge, as I understand, uh, uh, Sajid Premadasa is uh, 
uh, has accepted that policy mm. so let us go forward right yeah now we can now jamal now we can seek the best mm. anywhere mm. we can only see better okay than this but this leader is better than that leader mm. that leader is better than this leader mm. better so if the better leader we choose mm. would would may become best leader mm. who knows right who knows we live lead in this country right so let's talk about the current leader yeah. who is also your long time friend president ranil vikram singh he historically he has been known as someone who championed uh, the voice of the voiceless who has advocated for human rights and they've used to call him mr clean and so on but now there seems to be a certain ideological shift ever since he became the president do you believe that something has changed in his mind i mind? don't know i don't know the mm. right person to answer this question is mr ranil vikram singh himself. himself anyway i i told him i'm surprised at some of his activities to see some of his activities but else that's, that's over the best now um, he 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 was the person mm. who signed um a ceasefire agreement with ltt right uh, and and stopped the guerrilla war mm. the, for time being at the time and then uh, that in, in fact that 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 ceasefire agreement with ltt in, right. in fact when after that rajabaksas came mm. and uh, at the final war but final war was helped by the ceasefire Period. Right. This fire period uh, during the peace period, mm. LTT um, uh, was weakened very much, right. and that that helped uh, Rajabaksas to co- complete the uh, war. Right. Because it is like a relay race baton. Mm. The last baton was taken away, okay. t- taken forward by Rajabaksas, right. but uh, previous batons were held by Ranil Vikram Singh. Mm. So, so he started the race. Yeah, it is. Anyway, he started that's, the that's race. That's what you're thing. saying. That's in the past now. Mm. So now, but war is over, but ethnic issue is not over. Mm. The 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 reasons. root causes which caused the war for the arms struggle for ah, terrorism mm. for state terrorism what do mm. we call mm. there was uh, ltt terrorism there was state, state terrorism, terrorism both as, well. yes. as it, was, it was there in the ni- 1980s also yes uh, state terrorism and uh, st- uh, non state yeah, terrorism so mm. all these the reasons are still there mm. uh, but war is over but just because war is over the guns are silent you must not but we, we can't we can't hark on the fact that the war is over if there is no justice yeah. or there is no ethnic harmony in the country right mr ganeshan that's what i that's what i call mr ranil vikram singh uh, uh, or any 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 other for that but any leader but ranil vikram singh is a president right now so you should you should you should uh, see that you should use this opportunity mm. to um, uh, bind the minds and hearts of the tamil community right. uh, or the muslim community mm. or the non singhal buddhist community obviously I, i i don't say that singhal is buddhist my good friends my peop my, my brother no be, friends, no friends no, no yes. issues mm. they have issues mm. there are unique issues for singhalis mm. faced by them yes. the unique issues faced by tamils mm. the unique issues faced by muslims also right. so our role sri lankans face unique mm. issues mm. different communities but we will take account take everything into account and address them mm. instead so of talking it, only so in order for to, in order for him to do that to win the hearts and minds of non buddhists especially the tamil communities what do you think he should do does he do you think that he should fully implement the 13th amendment do you think that he should call everyone for a, a, no, no. a nationwide talk and <laughs> see what their problems are so uh, i'm just trying to gauge what sort of solutions he has i'll tell you i'll tell you well. now he has been calling all of us to talks no mm. yes i mean 3 2 or 3 Uh, apc all party all conferences. party conferences yes uh, but i think out of three or two or one i party i my party was a participated right okay then again but even uh, now 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 next month now i saw the preparations for the independence yes, uh, celebration day on mm. the gold road i saw mm. pa- so the new traffic plan yeah, yeah, and yeah, all yeah, of that yes sir mm. vikram singh has said mm. on record he said uh, by 22 2023 okay april Uh, sorry may february 4th that okay. is independence day mm. by that time he would uh, bring out a solution to the ethnic national issue he said he said that only convened uh, um, uh, all party, all party conference. conference end of 22 or immediately after immediately when he became uh, pr- prime minister pr- president, president. Of, uh, okay. fine but it didn't, it didn't happen no so now only thing you can do is let us talk about 13th amendment mm. fully implementation otherwise mm. but there are no provincial councils now no yes i met him yes. i met him uh, And last year right. the last uh, when, when the parliament was going to, uh, was ending mm. two days before the ending i met him in his office in the mm. parliament okay. i met him straight away one to one i told him to conduct uh, provincial councils at least only for the northern eastern provinces right i mean he, he said he can't conduct uh, provinces provincial council elections for all, yes. for the whole nine provinces Entire country, yes. but mm. that is fine mm. work fine 
some reasons reasons may we may not accept but at least he has the the is his discretion no yes. but at least you conduct this yes by that you can give a, you can win the hearts and minds of the tamil people and win their confidence mm. he didn't do that he has not done this so far he said he, he, he said no but he was just listening to me he said conduct that at least north and eastern provinces yes. two provinces yes. and establish the provincial provincial mechanism, mechanism there, there that will give some confidence mm. the new new new, new generation yes. of tamils there mm. are ready to contest elections now mm. so new generations will come in mm. not the old guards old guards are going now right. you can see yes. old guards are going now yes, yes. we'll <laughs> so come to youngsters are coming mm. now so they will they will they will they will, they will um, be the part of the mm. northern province here council administration mm. electoral administration not governors right let governors be in the offices governors cannot rule mm. governors are officials yes. they are not they are elected by the president. personal they are, uh, they are only officials selected okay mm. elected that is, that is that is very called legitimacy then is the process like that and then okay, the other issue is the elkanti tamil community mm. especially plantation yes, elkanti tamil community about 1.5 million are living in this country so within which about half of the 50% of them are still living in the plantations yes. so in his budget speech he, he, he positively said he said we will give 10 purchased land to mm. every family in the plantations yes good mm. and also he said he marked Uh, 4 billion rupees that is 400 crores yes normal mm. language no yes. 400 For, crores 4 billion rupees is yes, no yes. 4 crores and he gave a proposal so he didn't he didn't he didn't, he didn't, he didn't state that uh, uh, such proposals yes. under uh, elegant elegant such proposal that amount and the uh, proposal under any ministry mm. but it was under him only under the president secretary land ministry right. my good friend arin fernando was doing and the uh, amar mahinda varabir is the plantation minister no the state infrastructure and minister culture, yes. not not only any mm. minister i just i said yeah that's good because if you give, if you leave it to any any ministers they will do politics mm. take it under yourself start issuing land 10 purchases land every house sold mm. in the plantations mm. 10 purchases for the, the housing purpose yes, pro- and that's it i'm just telling you now uh, some people say Uh, talk about traditional in part they talk about the building houses and handing over right. the, there is there is already indian housing program mm. sri lanka housing program so their funds should come from india yes. that is, there is bureaucracy will delay there is bureaucracy bureaucracy delay, delays no so now i said not to, no don't build houses give mm. the land only now mm. now i have spoken to people there are some some families <coughs> at least sizable number of families 50% families are ready to put up their own houses mm. provided they they have land they have a land to land. their name youngsters who are who are, who are, who are families in the plantations working in kalambu elsewhere some in the middle east they have money mm. so they say sir get the get us land we will invest and also i told mm. president very categorically do this program through the district dccs right district coordinating committees, committees mm. not under any ministry fine no? now see these people are uh, plantations are spread over 12 districts mm. kalambu kalathara kagol rattapura mm. kandi mathale badulle nureliya monaragale gol mathare and kurnagale see it comes sudden directly from my mouth mm. I, i i i'm not reading from a paper naturally there. so 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 you should do so if we do these things mr president you can win the minds and hearts of the people mm. and you can win the votes also it may be lost to us doesn't matter mm. doesn't matter i can go home but you can rule the country so so talking <laughs> talking about winning the minds and hearts especially in terms of securing parliamentary power we saw another interesting matter that took place uh, where the itax leadership changed oh. last week and uh, mr sridharan i believe uh, became the leader he elected yesterday elected yesterday as the leader of the ICAC. Elected, yeah. and uh, that is a case of the old guard changing and a new <laughs> face coming in a new leadership a new vision so will the sjb or the samagijana alliance yeah. approach the itac for further future elections to maybe strike up a deal and to to join uh, hands i don't know it is too early to say that anyway i make this opportunity to uh, express my good lucks mm. pass my greetings to Uh, Mr. Sridharan, Sri Sivajanam Sridharan, mm. leader of the uh, Ilange Tamil Nadu Sangha. Good luck to you. Fine. Uh, and then uh, again, Samagi Jana Bali Vegiya, Samagi Jana Sandha Aniya, SCB Alliance. SCB Alliance. Um, so we striking a deal with ITAC. Uh, it, it, it is too early to say that because now there are other parties also. No, mm. uh, there are so many other parties. Not only ITAC, there are yes, other parties there are also. Other parties. But we will. We, we have our stance. the sab alliance has its roots stands stands mm. regarding the national issue mm. so I, i i was explaining you about it so we will talk to them we will mm. talk to anybody any any party all the parties the, there are muslim parties muslim people who do have issues muslim congress represents them and all sir on uh, people's congress people's represents congress, them yes. so we will talk to everybody right. all should come into the sri lankan radius mm. there is high time for that 
we should forget about the single being single is being Tamil Tamil or being Muslims. Muslims. Mm. First of all, we must think that we are we are Sri Lankans. Mm. That is where, that is the way forward. Right, much forward. Right, thinking as Sri Lankans together, getting rid of corruption and also communalism, is the way forward for Sri Lanka, and that is the message that is being impressed on by our guest for tonight, Member of Parliament Mano Ganesan, who is representing the Samagizana Balavega and is also a leader of the Tamil Progressive Alliance. Thank you very much for joining me and sharing your candid views this evening, Mr. Ganesan. Thank you very much, Jamal. Very nice to be with you. And that's the way it was on Face to Face this evening. Do take care and have yourselves a great Monday night.